Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're, we are reacting to some more of my queen, my goddess, my end all be all, the one, the only Miss Kelly Clarkson, and the last track on her Kelly Oki EP. What I'm hoping is the first of many Kelly Oki EPs. Um, at this point in time, you guys should have seen a post on the community tab of my channel that I put out a few days ago. Um, basically asking what are your top five Kelly Oki tracks you would like to see on the next Kelly Oki EP, because I'm hoping that there's going to be a next one. So if you haven't already responded, go, go, go respond to that. You know, give, give me some insight. insight. I might be putting together a little video. Who knows? We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm excited. It's been such a fun project to just listen through all of this. There are some songs that I absolutely love and other songs that I can appreciate. Not really my style, but like I can appreciate them for what they are. And they sound great. She sounds great vocally. Um, and I'm excited to see what this song's all about. Fake Plastic Trees by Radiohead. I don't think I know the song. If I do know it, then I just don't know it by name. But we're going to dive in just like all my other reactions to this EP have been. We're going to start off with the actual Kelly Aoki segment that inspired the EP. And then we're going to look at the studio recorded version. So let's dive in. She lives with a broken man. A crack Gorgeous. So easy, so effortless, and so gorgeous. But I can't help the feeling. Mm. I could blow through the sea. These transitions are everything. So damn good. She's so damn good. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the song, but I want to be. And I've said it a million times over when it comes to artists covering songs or sing, singing songs, whatever, if I don't know the song, but you make me want to know the song by the end of it, then you are doing your job. You're doing an amazing job. Ugh, the transitions up into her head voice are so gorgeous, so easy, so effortless. She just floats up there and it's just, it doesn't feel like she's expelling any sort of effort. She just like yawn and just floats up there and then just comes back down and then she'll belt and she transitions so easily between these these big belties right up into this nice soft head voice and then back down into this breathy chest voice and the, the oh, her vibrato is just magically delicious i say it every damn time it's just oh she's so damn good so damn good and i like how like yes there were a couple moments there where she got a little belty but for the most part it was a very light feeling kind of song. It felt very light and easy and just calming, soothing. And it kind of goes in line with theory that I was having, one of the theories I was having for not why certain songs were chosen for this, but the arrangement of the songs at least. Um, I feel like my theory about why certain these certain songs were chosen is just not accurate anymore at this point. Um, you can go watch my Blue Bayou reaction to see what that was. But the arrangement of the songs, I feel like, was done in a particular way, and it 
we started off low and we're ending low. Like Blue Bayou was a nice, slow, warm intro. And then we built it up a little bit with Call By Your Name. Then we just full explosion. Was Happier Than Ever? I didn't react to Happier Than Ever in this session because I had reacted to it weeks ago. So I forget where that was in the lineup. Hold on. Let me look before I start saying things wrong. So Call Out My Name was this nice, like, bridge between Blue Bayou and Happier Than Ever. Because Happier Than Ever starts off slow, but then it goes into that nice rock place. And then we just full energy explosion with Queen of the Night. And then we've been on this night descent, this slow descent back down to planet Earth with the last two tracks. So this was a nice, just sort of like, okay, we're touchdown soft landing and now we're back to earth kelly's taking us to heaven and now we're back down to you know back on planet earth so let's see what the studio recorded version sounds like a green plastic watering can for her fake chinese rubber plant in the fake plastic that she brought from a rubber man in a town full of Strings in the background. It was around. It was around. Mm. It was around. It was Transitions are just so good. And it was enough. It was enough. It was enough. It was. that cry at the top of that note. Stunning, 
stunning, stunning, stunning. The absolutely stunning, stunning vocal. Um, and like I said, in the live version of it, there are a few points there where, you know, she got belty and, you know, she gave us these very big open chest belts and they were gorgeous. But for the most part of the song, it was just soft and easy and these beautiful just transitions up into her head voice and back down and transition up into her head voice and back down like it was just gorgeous it just felt it was just very calming ethereal um yeah just a very calming kind of vibe and i just just sit here and just close my eyes and just mm, and just rock back and forth and chill with it because it's just that's what it is it's not it wasn't anything like yes we got the nice build in the music we got this nice big musical climax we got all these belty notes but it was really just about living in this soft atmospheric just airy world and it was just oh gorgeous 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 um and i would just sit here and like zone out and like stare in her eyes at this you know picture that they have here um, which you guys reminded me was actually, I think, like the promo picture for her Vegas residency before that, you know, COVID happened and that didn't happen. Um, but like, just gorgeous, gorgeous. I just get lost in her eyes, still listening to her vocals. And like, this is just so soothing and just beautiful. So yes, it's a beautiful end to this EP. Um, it was a very nice journey like I said, that arc, we started off slow, worked our way to this peak energy, and then we just slowly touched back down to earth, and it's just beautiful, beautifully done. So yeah, um, another one of my favorites on this EP. I think, honestly, there were only two songs on the EP that just didn't speak to me a lot. Not that there was nothing wrong with them, they just didn't particularly do anything amazingly special for me, being Blue Bayou and Trampoline. They were great covers, but just probably ones that I wouldn't listen to as much as the others but everything else on the EP was just like ugh, eargasm for me perfection love 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 so yeah I don't know why these particular songs were chosen um obviously some of them were amazing for me um but yeah she's done so many amazing performances on the Kelly Clarkson show I have no idea why these particular ones were chosen over other ones but I know that I have a list of songs that I would love for her to go on the next EP um, which is why I put out that um, post on my community tab to get your guys' input because yeah I want to I want to do a, a video on that um, maybe a top 10 list or something like that we'll see but yeah let me know what your top five Kellyoki performances that you'd like to see on the next EP and we'll see whenever I get around to making that list um yeah this, this has been a fun little ride so i hope you guys enjoyed this journey if you want to watch my other reactions to the kelly Oki ep you can check out my kelly clarkson playlist or my kelly Oki playlist both of them are the links are down in the description um if you did enjoy this don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments and i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can um if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love you a shout out to my amazing patrons i can't begin to express how thankful i am for your support and if you guys would like to join us over on patreon the link is down in the description i love you guys